The ocean seems to provide an inexhaustible supply of fish. But although seafood markets appear full, they conceal a hidden crisis. Every year, there are fewer and fewer fish in the ocean. Some of this decline is caused by ordinary people who are just trying to make a living, like these Jamaican fishermen. When I came here about 15 years ago, I used to see fish all around the key. Fish, big fish, big parrot, big snappers, big groupers. But fishermen caught all the big choice fish long ago. Even non-selective fishing, covering a wide area with nets and traps, doesn't work anymore. But we have to fish because that's, that's what we live from, fishing. And if there's no fish, no food on our table. But there's a price to pay. The fishermen now need to venture underwater themselves. And a compressor provides the oxygen to let them go deep. But the compressor also eats gas, raising costs. And the fish are smaller. And the time to catch enough to make a living is getting longer. It all adds up to a statistic that's become vital, not just for these fishermen, but for the planet catch per unit effort. It is the same all over the world. Each year it takes more effort to bring home a pound of fish. Another problem called fishing down a food chain also affects global fisheries. It means that fishermen catch fewer fish, different species of fish, and smaller individual fish. Stark reality these Jamaican fishermen face daily. They lay down a net to cover the bay. This traditional method of fishing used to feed the whole village and provide for the market. Now, only a few small fish are caught. With grouper and snapper all but gone, the fishermen chase the fish that these bigger fish used to eat parrotfish and doctorfish, small fish. But these fish are the little cleaners that eat the seaweed that can smother reefs. Without them, the very existence of the corals threatened. And fishing down a food chain creates other long-term problems. With the big fish gone, small fish produce fewer eggs, making it tough for fish stocks to bounce back and small fish are more likely to have small offspring, meaning that fish size is unlikely to recover either. With advanced sonar technology that can track fish underwater, and trawlers that can haul in thousands of fish in an hour, catch per unit effort and fishing down a food chain result in a horrifying statistic. Over 70% of the world's fish species are either fully exploited or depleted. In Jamaica, the fishermen themselves want to stop this downward spiral by setting up marine reserves, like this one in the prime fishing area of Pedro Bank. Well, we come up with a plan where we have a sanctuary around this key here. So we're gonna do no fishing. We'll be allowed around the key. So hopefully, Within four years and so, we will see some improvement in the fishing industry. Scientists are doing their best to help. We have been working with the fishing community for a number of years now. And they, slowly but surely, have been coming to us, expressing the need for change, expressing the need for a fish sanctuary. Technology and expertise, like that provided by the Living Oceans Foundation, are an important part of the solution. Marine scientists can help the fishermen help themselves. If we can get in 
uh, in a very short time frame and identify those locations that would benefit from protection, I think we can begin to rebuild the stocks so that they can continue to provide the fishermen here and um, the folks on the mainland with an uh, important source of protein. Catch per unit effort and fishing down a food chain may seem abstract, but these concepts help us understand that our ocean is in deep trouble and we need to act.